Welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilke Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, today I'm going to repot uh, probably one of my biggest Miltonias that I have, probably the biggest. It's uh, I call it my Ragnelli. I'm not completely sure, but anyhow, it, it really needs a repot. It's did outgrown its pot already. It's fairly large, but um, I think that this pot is just a bit bigger than the pot it's in. But you can uh, have now a bit of an idea of what, uh, what, you, what we're up to today. So yes, let's uh, first have a look where she is living and then we're going to put it on the upper table and take her out of the pot and just take it from there. And I hope it will all will fit in this pot. So uh, let's go. So yeah, here she is on the shelf. We're going to repot this one. This, uh, I'm calling this my Ragnelia. I'm not completely sure. It's obviously a no ID. But um, yeah, as you can see, she's growing uh, outside of this uh, fairly, uh, fairly large pot already. And I'm not completely happy with the, with the newest growth. So I think uh, that we really need to make sure that the new parts do get uh, uh, media around them as well. So they can grow uh, a bit stronger, a bit more nicer, I think. That will uh, will help. As you can see over there, a lot of uh, roots are sticking out, and I'm going to uh, repot her in a pot like this. So that should be just a little bit bigger, and let's hope I can at least uh, grow her on for a uh, another year. And we have the first signs of new growth, so uh, a perfect time uh, to uh, repot this uh, giant Miltonia. So yeah, here we are, you guys. I hope you could see me. Uh, so yeah, it's a fairly, uh, fairly large plant. I have it for several years, but I must admit that even when I just bought it, I did split it up already, and this one just keeps on growing and growing and growing. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it is. Uh, I call it my Ragnelii, but I'm not completely sure. But anyhow, it's uh, what it says on the tag, and it's. Uh, handy for my notes. I do, do not do show, so I don't care that much about the name. But anyhow, um, so yeah, <laughs> let's report it. I have my second hand camera uh, on here. My second camera, uh, uh, I should say. And as you can see, it has beautiful moss on here, but also quite some pebbles. So the first thing that I need to do is just get rid of some of those pebbles. And the moss will be back. I'm not going to save the moss. I always uh, these days have quite a, quite some moss growing fairly easy in the pots. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite a big orchid. Um, on the other hand, I'm just thinking I'm just going to take it out and the pebbles will mix in with the mixer. That's not that bad in this case, because I think I'm going to use uh, clean uh, media anyhow. So meanwhile, I'm just looking to, and <laughs> Uh, think about my approach. Um, yeah, I need to put it in this tray. So I will put it first here. So yeah, you guys, this might be a, get a little bit messy also filming wise. Because uh, <laughs> I'm not completely sure how I should do this. It's not uh, that I'm going to repot every day such a large plant. Uh, but anyhow, let's uh, let's just try. There are the pebbles. Maybe I should turn it around and let the pebbles fall out on their own so I can grab them fairly easy. Yeah, Some roots are attached to the pebbles as well as it seems to me. So that's why I'm not going to take them out. And I see several new growths. Several new growth. So that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect time for a repot. Even though this one is already uh, used to the system. But still, repotting when uh, new growth is in the make. And you, oops, with that new roots should be there. Oh yeah, I need to look because these are hanging over. That's always, uh, always the best time to, to uh, interfere, to repot. I should say, um, but now, I, yeah, I need to take it out and I don't want to break the pot, but I, there's some movement here. Probably cannot see it, but because I, uh, I might want to reuse this pot. This is transparent and getting big 
transparent parts is not easy. This is actually a lid of a Tupperware something. <laughs> I just reused the lid, made it uh, made it into a pot. Um, yeah, there is movement, believe it or not. But now it needs to come out. Uh, I need more hands. Can I pull it out? No. Oi, oi, oi. It is because he really has to come out. Otherwise, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't take her out. Oh, you know. Uh, let's try it from this size. I don't want to pull too hard on the bulbs, of course, and break some. Yeah. Maybe we have a wick here. Maybe that wick is just... Let's cut a wick off. Let's see if that helps. Maybe that's a bit in the way. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you want to cut? There we go. Put it there. This is ah more wigs. I apologize, you guys. <laughs> this might be getting a little bit messy. Well, it actually already is. But anyhow, <laughs> yeah, I don't like having the bulbs laying there like that on the table. Let's see if that works. If that was a problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's turn around. Hopefully, see what is happening. She is coming out, but she's so heavy. Yeah, there she is. Oh, please, still some. There we go. Ah, oh, the wicks were still stuck a little bit. <laughs> but anyhow. Here she is. I'm not sure if I did catch that on camera very well. We shall see. Well, I shall see when I'm starting to edit this <laughs> video. Meanwhile, while we have it here, I'm going to take out uh, the ferns and some other weeds. Just fairly quickly. So uh, I can also have a look at the plant itself. And she looks beautiful. Beautiful. Let me uh, put this one to the side. Try to show you what we are working with because it's beautiful. Look at those roots. Can you see them? Oh my, oh my, what a root system. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna mess with it. No, it looks perfect. I'm leaving it like that. And that's uh, the beauty of inorganic media. You can do that. Oh, and I love it at these moments. Absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong. I do love different ways of growing and, and I love hearing uh, other growers being passionate about, passionate, passionate about, I'm sorry, about growing in bark, for example, or, or sphagnum moss or on mounds. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, but I do really love the inorganic media. That's just, it suits me so well. And I don't have to mess with this roof system. It's, it's, it's amazing. And this one loves it, obviously. So yeah, that's, that's just, a, it's, it's sort of passion. I think <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. Now growing on it is a, is, is a hobby and a passion, of course. I, at least I hope it is, otherwise, you might want to start finding another hobby, <laughs> a different one. Because yeah, it can be sometimes some work. Of course, I'm trying to get some sheets off here while I'm at it, but I'm just, just checking the overall health of the plant. That's okay. I don't uh, need to interfere with it anymore. So that means <laughs> that we now need to find um, another pot. I have one here that should fit. Let me... Uh, uh, I need to make some room first. 
so I can show you guys how I try to measure my pots before I start even trying to get it in the, the plant in a pot let's uh, do this on my second camera here so you can see that this pot is fitting in the next pot the newest pot so it is, is bigger yes it is bigger but I do remember these plants sticking out like this <laughs> the newest growths so yeah but I don't I really 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 don't have a bigger pot at the moment so I'm going to put it in here it should be fine for at least another year I hope so um, I'm first going to put in a layer of bigger pumice and then I'm going to reuse and even though well actually it has a lot of uh, media on there still in the roots so normally I just grab a little bit of old media put it back in because of the beneficial bacteria if they are there I would like to get them into the new pot as well but because this one has such a root system we just saw and there's so many uh, media left I shouldn't and then not really need to reuse reuse it let's put it like that I'm sorry you guys I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and also trying to figure out the best way to uh, repot this one so if I'm a little bit messy explaining myself I apologize I will try to do uh, do it the best I can uh, a little bit more what I also like to do if I have a new pot is just use this one as a measurement so if I put it in there it should be at a level well as you can probably see it's a little bit higher so that means that I can take out a little bit of this media which I will do but because it was it was already a bit climbing in a pot the plant so I would like to uh, put it in yeah that's better oh I'm sorry that was very quickly I hope you can see now the level is about the same so that's better uh, okay I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna grab the plant and uh, put it directly in here because I don't have more space on my table and just see hopefully uh, it does fit quite nicely here we go I don't want to drop media on the floor that's going oh, well so yeah, you might wonder there was some algae and some moss on the side of the pots I just I just uh, don't take really notice of it I just put it in there and so far I didn't have any problems with it so that's why I just I'm not cleaning that up no it will be flushed out or grown out I'm not really flushing my plants of course not really I don't I just don't flush them I should say <laughs> but it will be gone someday okay <laughs> so can you see this is what I uh, meant here we're already uh, at the edge of this part as well but on this side I have a little bit more room so I can pull it over here does that help <sighs> not much not much no I'm not going to divide this one if you thought about it I don't want to do it I just don't want to do it so these newer roots <laughs> are fairly newer roots as you can see I just put them in the pot and I hope that these new growths well at least some will uh, put some new roots inside the pot as well I believe so that means that we can we should be able to grow it on for at least another year but I ha do have a little bit more space over here let's put it back a little bit better. yeah look at that oh this is perfect yeah this is better now I need some media do you stay where you are yes in place I hope you can see it whoops um, yeah that's in frame so I'm just gonna grab the media that I just used put it in there some media reuse that was already in the pot yes I'm mixing it up I use the bigger pumice and the smaller pumice just to get a little bit more air in 
because previously it was just uh, growing in only small pumice but it has such a big root system so i'd like to try to get a little bit more air in there so therefore in this case i use a bit bigger pumice as well uh, for the roots like i said just the air plus uh, first layer was to prevent those small pumice to fall out because there are holes uh, underneath this pot of course so that's the first uh, reason why I use the bigger pumice and now just like I said a little bit more air who knows it wasn't really necessary I think because it did so well but I, I, ha I have a feeling that it's a little bit more beneficial if you uh, get some air in especially on the colder days it's just a theory, I'm not sure, but I think the air is, generally speaking, a little bit warmer than something than water, than something that's wet. So in winter it cools down quite a bit here. I have it around 18 degrees in my greenhouse, so I like to get some air in those spots for, for the, especially the, the more warmer growing orchids, just to compensate. I hope that does make sense, but it's, it's a, a theory. I'm not completely sure, but... So far I have this one for years, it's doing fine, it's doing wonderful actually, you can say. I wish all markers were doing so well. <laughs> I'm not complaining, but uh, yeah, this one is just growing as a weed and it blooms so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if you're longer on my channel, you have seen it several times in bloom now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move this to the side here yes let's grab this media on the table and um yeah some new media here a scoop over here let's have a look are we still in place well no, you can move you a little bit more to that side no, I'm just gently pushing the media in. Yeah, I'm completely out of frame. I'm blocked. The plant is blocked. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I'm always working on this side of the plant, but the camera is on that side because I need to move around the table. <laughs> so it's always a bit of a challenge. But I, I try my best to get everything in shot. So you can see, and I must admit, it's also nice for myself. I uh, like to revisit some uh, videos when I did a repotted plan just to see what I did and how big they were then and how big they are now, etc. It's always nice. But yeah, it would be better if everything was in frame. <laughs> so. Let's mix it up a little bit with some uh, bigger pumice again. So yes, you guys, it's quite a, quite a job. <laughs> but I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. But I'm not really loving the repots, but those are so easy when they adapt it. And I love these big ones. It's just so beautiful to see if things are starting to work. Or starting if things just work. That's beautiful. I mean, we, have, we invest so much in uh, growing our orchids, not only uh, money, because it's not always that uh, cheap, this hobby, but also time and, and try to get information about our plants and fertilizer, of course. That's uh, quite a big subject, I think, to talk about and to think about, especially when you start growing your orchids. And then after years, you have uh, you will have your oh, actually maybe sooner but you will have the bigger ones this, these bigger successes i think and it's just so beautiful and i love filming it because if you start out or you weren't just so successful with some plans just never give up and because you will find a way to grow them or at least some if you have if you start to uh, understand your climate for example if you have a colder climate a colder there are orchids who really enjoy that type of uh, climate for just for example and you can find probably ones who are very suited and you will have your your success, successes with them which is beautiful 
I must admit, oh, uh, by the way, uh, when I started to getting my first successes, my plans did uh, start doing better. I was really inspired to even buy more because <laughs> I thought, well, if I can grow this one, this Miltonia, I can have that one now as well. It's a bit more expensive, but my Miltonia starts to do better. And so that's how I started my collection basically. But yeah, it's just beautiful, I think. And if you can do it, if you have the time for it, well, why not? It really helps me. It's very, uh, very healthy for me, at least. I have a quite. I can have quite a busy day life with my work and my plants, my grow space, my orchid room. We are now in the orchid room, and my greenhouse is. It's just so. I'm so happy that I have it around me. I just, it just feels like I can escape the real world, a world in some some way or form. It may sound a little bit silly, but. It's just so nice, quiet and peaceful here and also beautiful flowers. It's really, uh, yeah, good for my mind. Absolutely. And I love it. Let's turn this around. Can we see this part? Yes. So I'm going to put in a little bit of pumice here. So yeah, that should do the trick. It's a little bit over here. It's a bit more open. Oh, you cannot see it. I apologize. And what is my camera doing? Oh, wait a second. I'm going to make you dizzy. If you are on camera two, it almost fell out of the, of the table. Here we go. Let's adjust as well. It doesn't adjust very easy. I apologize. There we go again. So this looks better, I believe. Let's move this to the side and have a last look at this beauty. I'm going to turn it around. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's old media here. No, not old media, there's media here. Do I have a bit of a claw? Yes. Let's grab this quickly. Because that noise is not nice, <laughs> to say the least. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, this is, it always gets a little bit more messy. With these bigger ones, yeah, now I have that underneath my pot. Let's put it on, uh, on here. So this should avoid to making that noise, I believe. <laughs> so we're going to turn it around so you can see what I, uh, have been doing and the moss is still beautiful on the side of the pot so it will take over I believe this part is uh, from from the pot as well so we might have even more moss and I like it but I do keep my eye on it if it really fills up the pot I will take it out because uh, once again I will uh, I need some air in there but so far it's looking great even though we have some really pushing to the side Normally, this, this could be a, a reason to do a actual repot, but like I said, I don't have a bigger pot. So it's, uh, it, it, it needs to do with this, at least for one year. And let's hope I find a different pot, a bigger pot, uh, next year, some way or another. Uh, so yeah, now I uh, need to up pot it a little bit. i pot it and put a little bit of a uh, an extra layer of pebbles. There we go. Like that. A bit more pebbles here. And there. Yeah, I really enjoy the look of the pebbles. Especially with it, uh, you can see it here, with the green of the moss in uh, almost black pebbles. If they are wet, they are black. And if they dry or gray, but you can see it, it does look so beautiful, if you ask me. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy I did this, you guys. I'm so happy. I need, I, I was looking at it for weeks, actually, maybe for months, and I knew I need to repot it, but I just keep on uh, 
saying to myself, well, next week or next month, uh, <laughs> etc. But uh, I finally said, well, today I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just uh, get the job done. And we did, we did, we did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to floss it a little bit just to clean up uh, some excess dust that may be in a pot. And then I'm going to put her back uh, if she fits. And otherwise I will need to find another uh, place for her. But uh, I will show it, uh, show it uh, 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 you guys now, basically. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look. So. So yes, here we are again, you guys. I like nothing ever happened. But yeah, she does look way prettier than before, I think. I couldn't find the exactly the same color uh, pot, but anyhow, it's still uh, fairly dark. It's, uh, this is green and this is uh, gray. But uh, yeah, like I said, it does look better. And yeah, we have still some, some growths, very uh, touching the edge of the pot. But anyhow, they are still sort of in the media. And as you can see here, the first new growth on the bulb is there. So that will push the, uh, the roots inside of the pot, I'm pretty sure. And new growth here and there and here and here and there. This is the more of the back side of the po uh, pot of the orchid, but I see some green leaf there. So that might be a new growth, but anyhow, there's another one. We have multiple, absolutely multiple new growths. So yes, I'm really happy that I did it. It's just one of those jobs, of course. And actually, well, I'm going to try to show it to you guys. Look at this. This is my, my shirt, how messy. It was completely clean when I started. But yeah, it's uh, it almost uh, feels like actual work. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love this. But yeah, I needed those extra hands. Anyhow, I don't mind. And it's just, I basically said to myself what I uh, keep saying to you guys as well, that sometimes I get these comments where uh, people uh, can uh, relate to, uh, to me uh, not starting a repot because you're really not looking forward to do it. But I then I always say, just, just do it and have the job done because otherwise it just keeps uh, being here and, and dragging your attention and you really need to know, uh, you really know that you need to do the job and, and but just do it and now it's done that this is better so anyhow <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, something else this case I think but yeah we have a few more and actually I have one over here this one also Miltonia as you can see it's in a net pot and really outgrowing her pot as well so I probably will use the old pot of this Ragnellii for this one so this one can start getting bigger as well so, but I'm going to film this one as well because it's, I think it's very nice and then you can see what I do with, uh, with the net pots. But that's for, uh, for another video. So for now, like I said, I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. You may want to share it. It's always uh, very beneficial and beautiful if you do that for my channel. And if you didn't already have, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I really hope to see you at uh, the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>